Swanigan denied. The crowd wanted to travel. Kick outside for Edwards, and he'll knock it down from three. His quickness around the basket. Edwards way downtown of Feathery Touch. They're a top five team with him. Way downtown, it'll roll in there. Matthias lifts. He sinks the three. And Thomas Bryant, he has scored their last ten. The kick out for Carson Edwards and a three. Tell you what. Launch it. He can't hit. Oh, you can't let the little guy Edwards. rebound. How about that you, board? You can't. In the last 15 minutes. Oh, nice release right there. They get it to him, and he makes it, and he'll be at the line. What a night to make him take some time off. McRoberts. Got to get it up. Johnson, no. Rebound tipped. Controlled by Vince Edwards as he fires it in the air. There was a whistle. Point one. Right up here, doesn't it? it That'll fire him up, too. To see the man and the ball. I'm telling you, this kid's on fire. Knocks down another one. Matthias. Again. 17 for Dakota Matthias. Him into the game. Let me tell you something. Carson Edwards did a cool thing right there. He got the ball to McCayman so he can have the ball as Purdue celebrates a Big Ten title. Very nice. All the way around. Let the party begin here in West Lafayette. A championship trophy is coming to Boilermakers' way momentarily. Has been the difficult. Boy, they won't wait to double, do they? Right away. Great pass. Edwards. Matthias. Oh, smart move to wait for that. But the test. There's a steal. Carson Edwards. Oh, oh my good hammer time. Bring it down. The big bad burly boilers. Longest streak in school history now. 74-67. And Jimmy, just another great pleasure. For Purdue. Edwards down the lane on the whip. The ball right into his chest, knowing he can get away. Easton with six. He is lengthy. Lost it. Edwards leading the charge. Edwards hands it off. And the jam goes down for Aaron Wheeler. Handoff Klein on the fade in the area. Klein again from deep. And again, it's pure. Don't have free throw shooting in their game. They're one of seven from the free throw line. Oh. Edwards wanted to follow on that one. Baseline Langford rises. And then. You say one area that Romeo Langford is that probably the weak is it's stretching beyond the arc to shoot it. <laughs> Not Edwards. Man, never, that's a never an easy night. Inside Langford. <laughs> Improved to 12 and 6, 5 and 2 in the conference. Edwards. Big time player. Carson Edwards with 20. And a steal. And a slow it up and milk the clock. The Purdue Boilermakers complete game. Both ends at the floor. They defeat their arch rivals. 70 to 55. He's only done that once so far in this game. Edwards for Harms at the rim to throw it down. There you go. Oh, they're going to set a ball screen. Top of the key. There he is. Edwards to the rim. Scores. There's no help when it's at the top of the painter just told. Durham staring at Edwards. Edwards fading away. Tap by Harms. Got to get back. It's Smith. Justin Smith. No! Purdue survives! 48-46. A last second hope for Morgan in Indiana would not fall. That's all the offense so far for the Boilermakers. Jerome Hunter gives it up. Take away by Eric Hunter. 
He heads the nice other pass. way. Nice pass to Proctor, who spins and wow. reverses it wow. under field goal percentage and blocked shots. As that three finds the bottom for Aaron Wheeler. House. Here he goes down the lane. Oh, nice Up fake. Under. And it. Great footwork. Yeah, I mean, this is something he's been looking forward to for a long time. We just didn't know when it was going to happen, but he couldn't have picked a better day. He's, he, he's smooth. He's quick. He's got to be a little more aggressive offensively. Oh, it's Purdue celebration. It's a right for catch no. midcourt. And yet you got to know you got to go to Mackey. Mackey's one of the tough, tough places to play. Terrific road win for Purdue. Tremendous. Not and over. For Purdue to get him via the transfer rule. As a drag transfer, there's Harms using the ball fake and the glass counter. Best outing. Here's Trevion Williams working on the baseline. Look at that strong reversal. That's what he's on deck over there. Looks like he's ready to step to the plate. We had a green room, he'd be in it. Williams, how about get the wind back in your sails? And stop this run. Knocked away by No Gel Eastern. Durham, who's not lost a shot, another steal, up against the clock, Hunter! A jackknife, tomahawk, bruising, battling, boiler up finale to the first half. An absolute steal on the road of the Big Ten. Williams again. Ten tournament of next year before he has a crack at finally beating the in-state rival. So hope springs eternal after tonight. The new old stomping rounds. Archie Miller is looking for his first ever win against the rivals from West Lafayette. It's um, seven in a row and ten of the last eleven in this rivalry. Stefanovic buries the train. Yeah. Smoke their meat. Yep. Which I've had conversations with Archie. He, he thinks he's a better. <laughs> Finishes. Right. A lot of young players too. <laughs> hang their head. Oh. And Hunter really working well together in the backcourt, almost knowing where the other is all the time. How about that? <laughs> Ivy off the bounce. Uh, rattles it home. But I think that win against Michigan State really paid some dividends for this Purdue team. Gillis with the rebound, and that will be that. 81 to 69, our final hill against the bigger Zach Eady. Really well done by Indiana. Fortunate that I got to play in this game and play on the floor where Gene Katie coached and Bobby Knight coached. Eady just throw it up, trapping, doing whatever it takes to get it out of Williams' hands. Oh my goodness. I have a follow-up on that, but I'll wait for a stoppage. Ivy knocks down a three, Purdue. Coach Painter was yelling to foul. I had four fouls. I totally forgot. What a play. <laughs> He's going to go to 7-0 and oh against Archie Miller-led Indiana teams. With this victory today, it's nine in a row for the Boilermakers over the Hoosiers. Purdue gets the win. Robbie Hummel, always a pleasure to share it with you for our entire crew. Alex Farmartino, Mark Jones, everybody in Charlotte, we say farewell.